and good morning people. Welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. We are doing some more cases to round out this chapter. We've got two more that we've picked up. Um, I'm currently doing an investigation to see if I get any more down here. Wouldn't mind some more wanted hacker ones, but I'm not sure if any are going to show up. We'll see. Uh, but between the two we've got, Broadway Food Tour. Helping this undercover eater do some food reviews. As far as I'm aware, we will not be going into any digital space for this case. This is essentially all about food. And I wish I was joking. Go to Nagar and Nakano, great gourmet restaurants here and report back to her. All the fees and expensive have, have been paid up front and basically we're going to go to some restaurants and eat for free. Personally, this is my kind of case. <laughs> However, it is just really walking back and forth and going through text. We're not doing it alone. No. We have Nokia and Arata tagging along. So, a Chinese restaurant, sushi restaurant, and a tea house. Yeah, um, what Nokia is saying. Take note of that. Okay, I'll do that in a little bit. Yeah, um, the first two are literally opposite each other. There's one over here and one over here. We'll start off with the Chinese. I believe this is the Chinese. Sort of run down, falling apart. But Arata thinks it's great. It's been here a while. But yeah, this is basically just going through a load of text. Describing the food they ate. Crab omelette and egg ch chahan with mushroom and egg. Yeah, you might already see the pattern that's evolving here with Nokia.
Yuko? That's twice we've seen her outside of a food shop. Is she eating okay? Anyways, off to the tea house next. So what is Nokia having? Well... So two down, one more to go. And the last one is up on the second or third floor. Second floor. And it's just here. The sushi place. So we are done with the report, we're done with the food, back to the office, and yes, eggs and rice were pretty much everything that Nokia had. No real diverse palette. his true name hidden only by and know by the web handle and also don't actually know.
I wonder if it's got anything to do with that woman we saw looking at the Chinese restaurant when we started this uh, particular case. Or well, it actually started up. But yeah, that's completely done. It's literally just walking around. Going to a few places. So the next one is Broad Daylight. How long until my case investigation is done? Almost half hour, there's no point then. Okay, so on to our last case at the moment. Broad Daylight. Invisible Slasher is rampant in Shinjuku. Catch the culprit before something serious happens. This is from Matayoshi. Real oddball instance lately. Trees, cars, building exteriors getting sliced up. Like someone took a real sharp knife to them. No one's been hurt so far. It's just a case of trying to curb vandalism. But it's some heavy duty stuff. If people start getting targeted, there's going to be a real problem on our hands. And the police can hardly be bothered to get off their backsides. So we're going to check out this. And conveniently, Kyoko's decided to hack, or politely borrow, the security camera in Shinjuku. Matayoshi, as a member of the police, is turning the other way for this. He's the one that brought the case to us, don't blame him. Just found something interesting. And it's conveniently of when we were there. Remember that flash? And Kyoko's doing an old thing of going into some old folklore. Definitely skimmed really close to our head. Oh. Yeah, we got lucky. Seems to be a common trend. And we need to go back. So, I'll I will meet you in Shinjuku. Okay, so here we are. Well, instantly, something suspicious. 
I think we need to inspect that first. Yes, we do. But on my way back, I'm just going to spin a couple of times. Already got that one. Wasn't there a second machine here? Hmm, I thought there was two. Oh well, just the one will do. Let's have a look over here. Thin line coursing through here. It looks like a burn mark. Anything else of note? Does something show off? Hmm, not really. Um, Hyoko? Apparently has just got frozen. Okay. So that's one little part. The main one is here. The one which we saw earlier. Now, some people might be wondering about uh, the character's athletic capabilities. Well, enjoy her dodging rays of light right now. That chill, the one from before. Is that the best you got? Ah, Kyoko's figured out what's going on. Using reflections to their advantage. They reflected a, a sunbeam potent enough to damage cars. Although we're not dealing with sun rays in this case. We're dealing with lasers. And yes, as you can hear from the background, we are still dodging them. Only weapons grade lasers could leave such deep burns. So how is someone firing them while remaining hidden? Yeah, digital wave readings. If that's the case, can we trust in her deductions and our good luck to pull this through? Still dodging. Let's face it, Kyoko hasn't led us astray yet. How can we ever doubt it? Aiming that laser at you using every reflective surface in the area. In fact, the ba uh, laser is bouncing around towards you means we can trace it to an origin point. To do that, we need to get inside the line of fire. And we need to time this right. As soon as that laser's got you, we're going to connect jump into this laser 
and dive inside. How this works, I have no idea. But Kyoko thinks it's actually a type of digital wave. And the instant that beam of light hits something, it's going to create a network uh, or an origin point to a network. And we should be able to uh, connect jump into it. Sounds crazy, and it is. But we're the luckiest person Kyoko's ever known, and we can do this. And of course, we do. So, we're inside a digital network. This digital network is a little bit larger, and at the end of it, there is a Digimon. So, we've got to go and find that Digimon. I'm not actually sure what's around here to fight. Clock on Clockmons and Balkumons. Okay. I'm not really too worried about most of this actually. Although Leomon's still hurting for some reason. Oh well, he's not now. But champion levels will begin some experience out of this, which is excellent. And also in the we're going to find some items. Stun recovery right there. So what else is around? To be honest, not a whole lot. I think. Um, to be honest, I haven't actually looked around this. I know what the Digimon at the end is, but that's about all. So if we go this way and we should be able to see the last Digimon. Yeah, he's right there. We don't have to fight him yet. And we're not going to. I want to go collect all the items first. Because once we've defeated him, we will be ported out of here. So what else do we have? We've got another item down here. SP capture way, sure. I didn't want to go that way, I wanted to go down one more. Check what's in the very centre. Although I don't think there's anything there. No, there isn't. Okay, where was I? Um, I was going down this side and checking this little branch here, wasn't I? Yeah, there's an item up there. I've only seen Bakumons and Clockmons, nothing else. So either there is nothing else or I'm just being unlucky and haven't found it.
I'm going to guess I'm just being unlucky and haven't found it. Take that back, I've just found it. Eh, hey, just a Bertramon. I think this is the first time we've seen it though. So we've already got it on the, in our field guide, so it's not really an issue. But I believe that is the first time I've actually seen it, so this might be the first place you find it. So this next one. How's my cam doing for you? Uh, 63. I still need 37%. And I don't remember what you are. I think you're virus. But I'm not completely sure. Army goon? Do we look like someone from the army? Optical weapon Digimon that broke out of, out of a certain country's military. Developed and trained to be a weapon capable of attacking the real world directly from cyberspace. But he hated it and hated being worthless to them for anything other than that. So he's run away. Trying to practice, try, trying to find something else he could do. Yeah, it's not really helping too much because he's just doing what he was built for true but to be honest it's only been pure luck that he hasn't hit anyone directly. Hmm, thanks Masayoshi. Unfortunately, this tankmon thinks detective, he thinks we've been sent after him. So Tankmon, Hyper Cannon, one of the few things that he actually uh, does, um, I honestly don't think he does much else. One thing I do want to do though is do that, since he is data type, my vaccines aren't really going to be helpful here. Well, Leomon would be because he's he is lightning based and Earth does well. But let's just do this instead. Let's just try some cannon. Yeah. Hyper cannon goes off and then he's immobilized by the recall for one turn. No sleep, unfortunate. Uh, 
have... What are you best at, Togemon? You've got 102 attack, 116 speed, uh, sorry, intelligence. You're actually fairly well-rounded. Hmm. This guy relevant. Because I believe this has a little bit more health than defense than uh, magic defense. Does have a, a stun attack, and yeah, he doesn't use it much. Much. Most of the things I've seen him use are really hyper cannon, and then taking a rest. Know what clock want? You might be better off doing your uh, clock attack. And since you've been immobilized, well, this fight is over. Thousand experience, not too bad. Tank one is not hard. Uh, he has very limited options to actually hurt you, and if you come in with some virus Digimon on data Digimon, it's not hard to do the damage to him. Yes, he has stunned, but that's not guaranteed to affect you every turn. Yeah, it's not bad. That's enough though. And he's gone. It was. really did. Now it's become a serious situation. Why? Not only did we find this top secret military weapon, we also destroyed it. it could turn into an international incident that threatens our security treaty with that country. Um, are you being serious here, or just... Yeah. Lady Luckless does really take a shine to us. There was actually one thing that the beam, uh, the flash of light c could have, and one other thing that the flash of light could have been. If it was a, f a phone on the Mesa, we wouldn't be standing here now. Yeah, we are completely lucky that it wasn't that, but it was a tank mon, which isn't exactly advan an advanced model, so we were a bit lucky. So 
so we are done with that particular one and apparently we found another case we'll have a look at that in a moment but that's next time we're going to take in getting the reward for this one and then find out what's happening next because this does lead on to our next point in the story so until then have a wonderful day have lots of fun